All right, what's up, eighth graders? Hope you guys are doing well. Today we're going to be learning about scatter plots. Um, this is only going to be a one-day lesson, um, so you know I just want to teach it to you, and I think you guys are going to pick up on it pretty quickly. So um, our opener is a uh, "What do you know? What do you wonder? And what do you all have you already learned about scatter plots?" Um, you don't have to do that today. My food's ready. <laughs> so um, just kind of a background: scatter plots they are graphs of a set of two variables. They displayed as an order pair. They're very very similar to two-way tables. Um, as we take two categories and we look at the um, comparison between the two and if they we see a connection between the two ideas um, It also shows how two variables relate to each other by showing how closely the data points Fit to a line and we call this a line of best fit. And we'll talk about that farther into my PowerPoint And so anyways the following table represents um, the number of tornadoes Occurrences and we're going to make a scatter plot based off the information we have received Okay, and so we get a scatter plot like this when we plot these points and so the first thing I want you to ask yourself, do we see a correlation, right? Do you see a trend? And the answer is yes, right? As the years get farther on from 19, what, 50 to 1995, we can see that the farther years go, the more tornadoes that have occurred um, throughout those years, which right there, we know that there is a trend, okay? And we also know that we have the two categories of the year that we're looking at and the number of tornadoes we're looking at. The year is our x-axis. And the number of tornadoes is our y-axis, okay? And so, yes, there is, in fact, a trend with this, these two categories. And so, scatter plots provide a convenient way to determine whether a correlation exists between two variables. And I just used that word on that last slide. And so, in reality, a correlation is telling us if there's a connection between the two variables. And so, we have a positive correlation, which occurs when both variables increase. So, as your x's increases, your y's are also increases, just like that last scatter plot we were looking at. We also have a negative correlation occurs when one variable increases and the other variable decreases. So as your x increases, your y would be decreasing, which means you're going to get a negative correlation that goes down to the bottom right-hand side of your scatter plot. And we also could have a possibility of getting a no or little to no correlation with your scatter plot, which means your points are just kind of scattered everywhere and there's no connection between the two categories. And so let's kind of look at some examples. This first one here is a positive correlation as your x increases, your y increases, and it's going to the top left-hand side, so we know it's positive. This next one is a negative correlation as your x decreases or increases, your y decreases, which means we're going to get that negative correlation going down to the bottom right-hand side of your scatter plot. And then this one here is, of course, as our points are just kind of scattered everywhere, we have a little to no correlated scatter plot, which means there's no connection between your two categories, there's no connection between your x or your y. And so let's look here. We have three categories, age and height, age and eye color, and age and time needed to run a certain distance. So let's kind of look at this first one. Do we have a connection to it? Um, <clears throat> is there a connection between um, any of these? And so I'm hoping that you're saying there's no correlation between age and eye color, right? Doesn't matter how old you get, your eye color does not change. So that one would be number three. This one, if you're thinking about it, um, as we get older, our height does increase for a certain amount of time, right? Because we're looking between 0 and 18 year olds. So as we get older, our height does get bigger. And so that will be number one because it's a positive increase. And then this last one here, right? As your age increases, the time will decrease. As you get older, the longer it takes you to run a distance. So that's going to be a negative correlation. And that's that one. And then I'm hoping you can also figure out the variables of your x and y axis as well. So if you, if the data points are close to the line of best fit, it is said to have a strong correlation. So this one right here, it is a positive correlation, but we would call it a weak correlation because the points are farther apart from that line of best fit. We still have a positive correlation, but it's a weak positive. This one here, our points are going to be closer to that line, so we have a strong positive. This one here is a pretty weak, almost to a no correlated plot or scatter plot, but we have a weak negative scatter plot here. And then this one here, we have a weak or a strong negative correlation on a scatter plot. All right, that is all I have for you today. You're going to be able to go ahead and start working on the activity that I have attached below. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. But that is all I have for you today, scatter plots. Hope you understand it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Have a great day, you guys.